failure number two I just wanted to shoot a really quick video for this somebody made this a couple had brought it to me they had bought it at a craft fair somewhere and whoever had made this all they have around the outside is they just have copper foil and they tend it now somebody spent a lot of time on this, this is really cool I mean it's got shells glued to it and and I don't know seaweed and uh, uh, necklaces and you know it's got some some kelp and you know look really cool turn the camera a little bit you know hanging in a window I think it's really neat okay and he used some fractured streamer glass in the background you know uh, but because this is just tinned copper foil around the edge when the couple went to hang it up that's what they soldered the hangers to this just tore off the edge so if when you make stuff like this you know if you have just like uh, eighth inch U zinc came or brass brass U came or uh, copper came or whatever around the outside edge if they had soldered it here and here and did the corners etc etc and then put their hangers on there it probably would have been fine so I don't have any of the eighth inch zinc I'm going to wind up having to use uh, I have to use what I have on hand so I'm not going to go out and order just for this one little job so I'm going to be using, this is 3 8 uh, zinc, you came, and I will put that all around the edge and miter my corners like I always do, you know, for looks, and then I will draw my drill my hole into the dead space and put in a hanger on both corners so they can hang it up safely. But, you know, this is why I keep pointing this out, is copper foil is just a tissue. And even though you solder... Okay, even though you, you coat it with solder, you're coating it with something that's an easily malleable metal like tin and lead combined. So it's very easy for the stuff to tear. Uh, luckily, you know, they hung it up and they turned around and when they, when they hung it up, it immediately tore off. Now, they could have walked away from it and think it would be on the floor and it would be something that I couldn't fix. It would wind up being a disposable, uh, a disposable piece that would have gotten thrown away basically so at least you know I'm able to save it or thank God I was able to you know they brought it in before I had anything left to save uh, to be able to fix it but yeah foil failure number two uh, yeah and in and, and this case especially in this case wrapping something like this with wire uh, can also be problematic because when you get really long stretches of wire like this get really long stretches of wire like this when you're trying to get a bead on it what happens is that the wire absorbs the heat and it makes it expand so it could actually expand enough to pull this off the edge slightly and then when it cools it contracts but sometimes the copper foil will clamshell and it won't go back on the edge because it's closed up and it's smaller than the edge of the glass itself so when you have stuff like this you know get some eighth inch you came whether it's zinc or brass or copper, you know, and put it around stuff like this so you don't have issues like this happening again. Very simple. Thank you. God bless. Bye-bye.